It is, it so this is a stock fat boy fender and that 23 actually fits under it and looks good i don't have an issue with the way it looks uh, the only thing we're going to have to do is build a uh, couple of brackets to raise that fender up just a, just about another inch half inch farther than it is but uh, the look of that fender on that 23 is actually pretty decent we actually had a uh, full wraparound fender for it, but uh, we were uh, we're wondering if uh, thinking about just using the Fat Boy fender. We actually like the look of that. He's kind of old school in this bike because it is an old school bike, so. We're gonna play around with some brackets and uh, get that all matched up and get the fender back on this thing and uh, we'll, be, we'll be back with you. We're gonna make some fender brackets to adapt that standard fat boy fender to the uh, front end for uh, the 23 inch wheel. It's a little warm. <laughs> pieces after you cut them and pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> glasses by the way but uh some little aluminum pieces are not fun You can see these are uh, too hot to handle. I'm gonna set that there. That's one. I got a flapper wheel on here now. It's gonna clean up this edge, straighten it a little bit. We'll let these cool a little bit and then we'll drill them. These are going to, uh, these these will be buffed in a little bit and uh, they'll be hid behind a fender anyway. You're almost, you're almost just gonna see about a quarter of an inch of this probably. So they don't have to be perfect because they're gonna be well hidden anyway. They're just more structural than anything. Are you with the operation? I think we spoke last time. I'd, I'd love to talk. I'm just 
wondering why you were filming my truck. That's cool, little Mark. What I'm doing is drilling through the first one just into the second one. And then I'll split them and drill them separately. We got the brackets bolted on. Ryan's going to tighten these up and then we'll mount it on the bike and uh, let everybody get a look at this. Going over a 23 inch wheel. This is a stock Fat Boy fender. Uh, and it'll fit right over that 23 inch wheel and it'll look pretty good. So we'll uh, get you back in a minute. Okay, Ryan's going to drop that fender as soon as he turns it around. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that on film? That might look cool that way. It'd be different. Go ahead and pop it in and pop your bolts in it and then we'll put some nuts on it and come back and give everybody a good view of it. So this is a 23 inch wheel. This is a stock Fat Boy fender set up for 16 or 17 inch wheel, depending on what year you're looking at. Uh, and this this wheel will actually fit in this fender and has the clearance that you need. Just by making those two small brackets that you really can't see. You got nice chrome hardware here. The leg blocks the rest of the bracket. So, and, and the look of that fender doesn't offend me. I don't mind that that fender, the look of it. Uh, we've also got a wraparound fender that'll fit it. We're just mocking up a few fenders because this thing's going to be rewired, uh, a lot of stuff done, redone on it, and uh, go into paint and have a custom paint job. And we're just kind of playing with some ideas on fenders. But just so you guys know, stock Fat Boy fender will fit over a 23-inch wheel with a low-profile tire. And this is Dave and Ryan from Iron Blackbird Cycles. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody.